powering through. <laughs> Judge is back here, just doing a photo shoot. <laughs> A year ago, right now, I was a judge at the Miss California Teen USA and Miss California USA competition. So this morning, I woke up in Long Beach, California, and I'm here to judge the Miss California Teen USA pageant. Here's my view. Very beautiful out there. This video is gonna just feature a few of the videos that I took when I was there and I just never had the opportunity to put a video together. And then I'm gonna talk a little bit about what it's like to judge a pageant. And if you can kind of hear my voice, I have strep throat. It sucks, but it is what it is, and it's gonna be a good day. But I've had zero appetite for the last few days. Suddenly I woke up this morning, I was super hungry, so I ordered pancakes. And I just got a spray tan too, so I'm feeling extra glowy. <laughs> so this video is what it's like to judge a pageant, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. I'm getting ready to go to the judges' dinner tonight. We're gonna do a briefing and then we start judging tomorrow morning. So I'm super pumped about it. So first and foremost, when you are a judge for anything, but especially at a pageant, because that's what I can relate to, is there's so much pressure and responsibility on your shoulders. You have the power, literally, to change a woman or multiple women, depending on how many winners there are in that particular pageant, you have the power to change lives, to change the course of some of these women's lives, for real, legitimately. In this case, one of these girls was gonna get to go to Miss Teen USA and one was gonna get to go to Miss USA, which is the experience of lifetime. Another thing, when you're a judge, you're, you always wonder if you made the right decision. You always wonder, maybe this person was more deserving. And I shouldn't say you always wonder because there's sometimes where it's just, there's a clear cut winner, there's no wondering, there's no pondering, there's no questioning. But definitely at this competition, the Miss California, there's so many amazing women because it, there's a huge group of them. I think there was like a hundred and some women in the Miss and at almost 70 in the teen and so there's just so many deserving girls just like at Miss Universe right now there's so many deserving girls that it's just unbelievable <laughs> getting ready to judge interviews we just did some suit oh wait active wear preview I just got back from doing the interviews with the girls and we interviewed, I think, 68 girls or something like that. So tonight is a preliminary competition and tomorrow will be the finals. And one of the things I just have to say for those who are maybe competing in the next little while is be yourself and don't be too rehearsed because there are some girls who will come in and they have their answers already prepared and when they're saying answers, they sound like they're just reading off of a piece of paper. And that's no fun to listen to as a judge or just really as anyone. So be authentic, be you, enjoy the experience and tell something like a story because that really engages people, so. One nice thing that I found about the Miss California, Miss California teen is that the judges, or pardon me, the directors were not involved at all. They were so neutral. They actually didn't even want the judges to talk to each other. So when we were writing our scores, when we were writing our notes, when we were making our selections, we were not allowed to talk to each other, which can be good and bad. It can be good because then you're neutral, like you have your opinion and that's it. What I didn't like about that is there's been times where I've been on judging panels where we talk to each other and there'll be things that other judges notice that I didn't notice or that I noticed and they didn't notice. And so we collaborate together and talk about our ideas. And if someone's trying to be too persuasive, like screw it, I don't, I'm not gonna listen to your opinion if you're trying to persuade me, but I do value talking together and making a selection together, but everyone has different opinions about that, so that's that. But the directors at Miss California, at Miss California Teen, were not involved at all, and I've been involved in judge pageants where the directors, they try to drop these subtle hints about which girls they think are deserving or which girls they wanna work with, and I mean, you can call it fair or unfair, I don't really know what you wanna call it, but they know the girls better than we do too, so it's kind of like we're seeing one side. Quickly wanted to know how grateful I am for the opportunity to be here and to express to you guys how incredible these young women are. Once people get to see the behind the scenes of a pageant and they get to get to know these women, they are so taken aback and honestly surprised because I think 
still the conception and the misconception of pageants is that it's toddlers and tiaras or these girls who are think they're the center of the universe and that they have no intelligence and that they don't want to do good in their communities but it's quite the opposite and when i'm judging i always get nervous for the girls i get nervous for them when they're coming in for their interviews and i get really nervous when they're announcing the top five like the runners up and the winner even though i probably know what the results are i just i always get nervous i have this sense of nervousness that i'm like oh my god like who's it gonna be like this is so exciting and even when I'm watching pageants online, like if it's Miss Universe 2013 or something like that, or Miss Universe 2015, I've probably watched it dozens of times. I know what the results are, but I get nervous every single time when they're announcing the runner, the runners up and the winner. I get nervous every time, even though I know what's gonna happen. It's so ridiculous. Most of all, when you're judging a pageant, you play such a big role, but it's so much fun. It's, I mean, it's more relaxing being on the judging side than being judged, you know, it's, it just, it makes sense. I just, I love it. I love being in there, listening to these women's stories. They're so, there always is a moment where I sit back and I think, wow, we are surrounded by some pretty incredible women in the world right now. And I'm never not amazed at the women who compete in these competitions, the skills that they have, the things that they've accomplished, the people that they are. I'm always amazed and it's always an honor to be on any judging panel and I just, I always look forward to that moment where one woman is going to become the title holder and seeing that there's nothing like that moment, you know, it's just so special and so exciting and my cheeks hurt from smiling talking about it and it's just very special. So that's kind of my little insight on what it's like to judge a pageant there's a lot of pressure on you but it's really exciting it's fun and to be part of that moment that you're changing someone's life is pretty exciting and cool continue to be impressed the more pageants that I get to judge and I, I the love that I have for the pageant world grows I hope you liked this video if you liked it and you want to see more from me about pageants and otherwise please subscribe leave your comments below if you have any other questions about judging a pageant or what it's like to be a judge or be in a pageant leave your questions in the comments and I will try to answer them Now I get to work on some papers and go to sleep and hopefully feel better.